right, guys. Uh, good afternoon. It's Angela. We are going to finish this today. So right now, I just stuck... Uh, oh, I don't know that you can see it. Let's see if you can see it. Let me bring this up a little bit. Yeah. Let's bring it like that so you can see it. Anyway, I just stuck a crystal on here with the glue gun. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sticking the crystals on, these crystals. See, how pretty is that, right? Gotta make my little queen look like a queen. What good is the queen without looking like a queen? So you gotta make sure your heat gun is really hot before you put these down. And then you start putting them around there. And just hold them a few seconds and they should stick right up. You see? Oops. Yeah, they'll stay right there. I'll wipe my hand. I just got my hand in something. I don't know. Now I'm going to put another one right about here. Let's see. I got two left. So I don't have too many to go around. So we'll see how this goes. See, that's why you got to put a last layer of your <coughs> resin to make sure everything sticks the way it's supposed to. There we go. I'm glad my husband got me these crystals. They are so pretty. I like them. And they look very good on this painting. That was a very good idea, Mike coming from a man perspective that's not bad now what i'm going to do is yeah i'm just gonna leave it alone just give it a little squeeze of the glow you know the glue gun this glue gun is very hot so you got to be very careful not to burn your, your little fingers with it yeah so now i'm gonna do the glitter lines and uh the consistency of the glitter has to be pretty thick because otherwise you're going to have runoff of the glitter everywhere. You know, like it'll spread overnight and then it'll ruin your, your art piece. So you want to try to keep your glitter pretty much on the thin side. I mean, on the thick side. You see, I put it in here and now I drip it down. Let's see if it comes out. I think it needs a just a little tab more of resin. Yeah, so it could be a little bit more runny because it's not moving at all. Yeah, the consistency is way too thick. Yeah. This is where I get to use my ultrasound physics. See, it paid to do ultrasound for so many years, right? See all those patients, avoid all those blood clots on those patients' legs. So I let a little bit drip over, so I have a line going down the side. And I put my line and just keep spreading it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ooh, she's looking very shiny already. This is where your stick comes in. This is where I tell you your stick is your friend your little uh, stir stick. And look how fat that line is. It's a very fat line. <laughs> Let me put a little bit more here to just finish it off right here. Make that little turn into the going down on the side of the canvas. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I don't know where to put it though. Because I love the way this gold looks so beautiful here. I'm just going to put it a little bit on the brown. Yeah. I don't want to mess with the gold. The gold looks so pretty. And so does the brown, but I got a lot of brown there. So it could go a little bit on top of the brown. As you, I don't know if you can see the brown. I took a little gold this morning and I put a little gold on the brown so it could look really good it looks like you know lines in the in the in the brown so this is turning out to be a much thinner line which is good it's not taking up too much of it 
I don't want it to take up too much of the brown. So let's uh, put more up here. Let me get a little thicker the line. Then I'll fix it with the stick, you know, because you want your lines to look pretty good. Not too bad. That looks good. All right. Let's uh, get some more. You could also put your glitter inside a bag. You know the Ziploc bags, the small ones? You could take it, take the cup, turn it upside down inside one of those bags, and you snip the corner with a scissor, and that will give you a tiny little hole, and you'll have exactly the amount of glitter you want, you know, as far as the line. If you want a thin line, you cut it very, very tiny. If you want a chunky line, then, you know, you cut the uh, Ziploc bag, the hole, a little bigger. So totally up to you how you want it done. Exactly. So today I'm pretty much done with this. I may just give it a clear coat. That I could do late tonight. Because I usually wait a couple of hours and let it dry somewhat. Because this will be dry by tonight. Over here, down here, everything dries pretty quickly. And everything dries beautifully. Now, because I want the lines to come off the side very nice, I'm going to just come over here, make sure that line is nice. Make sure this line with the silver is nice coming down. And uh, let's see what else. And a little bit more here. Yeah. I love doing this. So much fun. Uh, it's just like my regular arts, too. I love it. So that's it with that line. I'm done with the silver. So I'll throw this cup in the garbage. And uh, my husband will throw that out later, of course. Okay. Now the next line I'm going to make is gonna be against the brown and it's gonna be gold. Yeah. this gold is really staying stuck there <laughs> it's a little thick this gold yeah it's a very thick gold yeah let's uh hit it up a little bit that way see this one i want it a little bit chunkier look how pretty that gold is it's like a gold dress oh uh -huh. my baby's getting beautified Oh yeah, muy caliente, muy linda. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying yesterday, oh my God, I'm gonna be the, probably the most spoiling grandma in the world with my new granddaughter. There's nothing grandma's not gonna give her little baby. Yeah. Now you'll probably hear me saying, I'm not gonna be on because I'm gonna be with my granddaughter. <laughs> I'm gonna go visit my grandma, my granddaughter in Florida. We're gonna have to move to Florida now for sure. My husband and I, we don't have to, but we want to. My son said, Good idea. All right, let's see. Make another gold line. See how it's spreading? It does that if you put a little too much, but that's okay, it could spread as much as it wants onto the white. I could always put more white if I don't like that it's taking up too much of the white. Yeah. I hope you guys can see. I hope the light is not too bright. Sometimes people tell me the light is too dark or the light is too bright. So I try to make a happy medium for everybody because we are one big happy family. And the first people you want to, you know, keep happy are your, your viewers, your subscribers. They're going to tell you the truth, so... So guys, if you have any comments, 
you want to leave in the comments I will answer you right away because as I said I always have my phone on me as soon as I hear the little buzz I know somebody's buzzing me from Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube so I would answer right away I had to take some of my uh, paintings yesterday to the garage because I never do my sanding in here. This is just full painting. I don't want sand. I don't want no sanding done here in this room because I don't want anything sticking to any of my paints at all. And my husband knows that. He knows that he's not going to do any sanding down here at all uh, for that reason. Let's uh, put a little bit more here so you can really stick on there. Or you could always pick it up from the bottom there and put it up. And, uh, yeah. I'll put this white in there. The white came off on there. Put some white in there. And then take some white and put it here. See, the white came off over here. I have to. Make sure it's covered with the white. Okay. Let me unplug this uh, heat gun because I still smell it like it's on. Yeah, unplug it. It's the best thing to do. Now, I'm wondering if I should do a little circle around here with the gold. Yeah. Let's put a little circle around there with the gold. That'll kind of keep it in perspective keep it in place you know it's like dressing it up like i said we're dressing up the queen today the little queen is going to her wedding yeah there you go that's gorgeous 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 beautiful uh <clears throat> you could always take paper and a little bit of alcohol and wipe down the sides you don't like how they come out you could always wipe it and then put your final coat of resin like i said tomorrow or tonight that's what i'll probably do probably do it tonight yeah to get it over with and uh or maybe tomorrow is safer because then tomorrow everything would definitely be dry within the 24 hours not cure dry cure would be within uh 24 hours and then you let it sit for another you know a couple of weeks maybe two to three weeks if you're ever going to sell it i usually would wait two to three weeks before i send it out and uh i don't sell these much because uh i really like these a lot i fall in love with them myself so i don't know it's hard to separate. Uh, separation anxiety from separating from my my arts. I'm thinking I should put a little bit more gold in here, but along the side like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then again, I don't know how much this gold is gonna spread, and it's spreading already. But um, anyway, that's it with this. I'm done. We could call it quits with this. Well, everything is perfectly finished. Make a little coffee. And, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm going to put all this glitter away. This is my geo. I finished. I'm very happy with it. Look at that. I love that crackle paste. And you see a little gray shows in between. But I really don't care. This is the silver glitter I just put on. And that's the beautiful glitter. Look at the look at the crystals I put up. And things are expensive, $8 each. <laughs> My husband loves to spend money on that. For me anyway. That's good. And I put a little gold on the brown. You see how it's like streaky with a little gold on the brown? Because I figured, and look at those cells in there. There's cells in the brown. I tell you, a lot of the um, 
epoxy paste from just resin not just uk i think they're in the uk too but anyway from just resin they develop a lot of beautiful cells on their own so you don't even have to put any resi blast for cells with their pigments their pigments are beautiful look at the gold glitter i just put there the silver glitter yeah just a little bit of brown there but that's okay we don't need a lot of brown everywhere i think it turned out gorgeous look at that guys love it yep love it love it love it nice and shiny i'm gonna let it rest and then i'll put the final layer on the whole thing but i can tell you right now it looks very even right now it doesn't look like any way i need to put any more resin but uh yeah this is so gorgeous all right guys love you all bye bye